What's up homies, welcome back to another demo video and tonight we are looking at the Night Slashes remake. I've heard some mixed things about this, mostly it has to do with the grabbing mechanics and animations. Um, let's experience it for itself. Let's go into normal mode, we're just gonna do medium. Now I've had plenty of experience with the original. We only have two characters, Christopher Smith and Hong Hua for the demo. Uh, let's go Hong Hua. I like her better. I, uh, this is one that I'm managing my expectations on. I'm trying not to look at it with nostalgia, but the art style, I can't really get behind it. It's, I don't know. Um, the impact doesn't, the impact feels, oh, that throw right there was bad. Did you see the position? of the enemy zombie when I threw it. Of course this is a demo and you know it still is getting polished. But these things need to be talked about before we move any further. A little spin kick. Ooh the damage is still high. I I don't remember zombies having iframes in the original. I can't believe I lost a life on the first screen. That's actually a little embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh... I don't know. The combat feels... Kind of weird. Why don't do that in a beat-em-up? Uh, Captain America and the Avengers did that for the arcade. Where they gave enemies iframes after they stood up. Dude, it's a power trip for the player. The enemies should be absolute fodder. Hmm. Oh, the 90s comments are still here. Now, I did hear that bosses or sub-bosses kind of just like automatically have iframes like during any attack, which is a dumb idea. I don't remember this thing, this part of the game being like a sewer. I thought this was more like a lab. Oh, you're just gonna escape my grab. Hmm. I don't... I don't know. I'm not being sold on this right now. I think it, it needs some work. I think the... Hitting the enemies doesn't feel completely bad. But there's something missing in the impact. I think it's like throwing animations. Like, they're weird. They don't look good. Uh, I am playing on controller, by the way. The rumble feature does feel nice when I strike enemies. The 3D models are kind of weird. Did you get the brains of a child? I know your moves. Oh, that was a weird throw. Yeah, Frankenstein here can pull off some wonky stuff. Eat some knees, baby. It looks like Frankenstein can't break into an iframe anyway. I don't I don't know if I like this new model of Frankenstein. Although they've done a real good job with remixing the music. I will give them that. They've really that's off to that. To their sound department. Because the boss theme is like one of my favorite boss things of arcade gaming. Eat your fists, walk into my planes. So, I love beat em ups. It's probably one of my favorite genres. I wish there was way more of them than they are now. They're kind of like a dying genre. Most of the things that I like are dying. Because maybe I'm just getting old. Very nice. Off to stage two. Oh, right into it, okay. <laughs> they, I do like the zombie look in 3D. Oh, come on. Oh, these guys, I love their design. These like zombie hunters. It's weird, the like final attack of your basic combo kind of lingers, which I don't know 
I don't know how it's supposed to work in the end game. How many opponents you'll be facing. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to do my get off me moves. It doesn't seem to work. I, this part really kind of impressed me as a kid, I'm not gonna lie. And it's still a lot of fun to play, like, 30 plus years after the fact. Or maybe it's 25 plus. Either way, it's up there. The stages do look good. Like, the backgrounds and everything, and the parallax scrolling, excellent. Excellent touch. They just need to tune up the game play. Oh, there, what? There's like a whole middle section missing. I remember you. Oh, you. Okay, you get iframes. Get the orb. Yep, I get you. I get you. I, I know how to do you. Right there. What? What is that? Why is he getting iframes? Get schmuck, little rock man. I do like the stage after this, which is like, you fight the two Aztec gods. Let's do her special. Phoenix Fire! That one's super sick. Um, I do like... What is it? I think his name is Jake Smith. The guy with the bionic arms. His AOE, literally, he uses his two bionic machine guns and just sprays and prays. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, what? I don't remember there being a, a get-up attack. Hmm, fair. Yeah, the damage is still high in this game. That's one thing I remember, is how easy it is to lose a life. Dude. What? Where's the get-off me move? Ooh, ah, I don't like them restarting. We'll just... Clear out everyone. We'll just get this done another way. Oh, the stage doesn't end? I actually have to kill the zombies? Weird. Usually when you kill the boss, all of his cronies die. Alright. Um Yeah, that needs some work. I don't I don't know what the price tag is gonna be. But I don't know, the punching feels alright, but they need to remove the iframes of enemies. And those grab animations need to be fixed. Like, for that split second, it's so bad that I noticed it. Like, maybe if it was a little bit off, I could deal with it. But it's like all the time I throw an enemy. And I don't remember it being that wonky in the original. Although, can you put, um... I think put the oh yeah you can put the original soundtrack that's what I like when someone's remaking a game is putting the original soundtrack in there for us old heads but yeah I if you really if you're a beat em up fan I think you owe it to yourself to play the Night Slashers remake demo and make the judgment for yourself there's been a lot of discord with this game ever since it got released. A lot of people are harping on the visuals. The visuals are fine. They're not my favorite type of look, but I can live with it. It's the gameplay that's not really clicking with me. And that's the part that bothers me. But thanks for sticking around, homies. I hope you enjoy this small playthrough of the Night Slashes remake demo. And uh, make sure to check out the other demos of Steam Next Fest while you're at it. Uh, check out the Metal Slug Tactics one that I made. That one was a lot of fun, and I also uploaded a video where I put in the retro soundtrack to see how that fits, and I thought it turned out pretty fun. So, I'll see you guys around. I always appreciate the support. Catch you on the next video. Peace.